NSFW, what happens in real life SX that you never see in PRN? Stopping and throwing on some clothes to quickly answer the doorbell because this is the third time the UPS man has attempted signature delivery of that awesome package you have been expecting and you don't want to drive the 10 miles into the industrial quarter to pick it up from the warehouse tomorrow. The girl I was with had an asthma attack and an orgasm at the same time. People who like each other and can actually stand to be near each other for more than 2 seconds. The kids knocking on the door to tell you something inane. M.A. That weird cat's back. My girl and I were going at it one day. And I was hitting it from the back. My cat was a wee fluff. Six years ago. You ever have a small fluff goblin latch onto your sack with tiny dagger fingers? And start biting your family jewels? Cramp. Not everyone enjoys the taste and smell of semen. Also trying to hold in a fart during SX. Only to let out one huge one when you come. Your feet are bloody freezing. Your elbow is hurting me. Move backwards. You're putting too much weight. You're on my hair. Spend half hour looking for her other sock or random clothing article just to find it under a pillow. Surprisingly. There are way less lemon stealing s in real life. In PRN for some reason touching anywhere remotely near the clitoris sends a woman into paroxysms. The clean up afterwards. And the post sx. Don't forget to pee afterwards. Asterisk. Yes. You're all sleepy and cozy and maybe it's so cold out of the bed and you're warm against this s I naked human whose skin feels so nice against yours and you just want to drift off. But no. You need to pee or you'll get a UT and feel like your eye raises out your urethra. Snuggling. Cat being jealous. Jumping on the bed and making a fuss wanting to somehow be a part of it. Having to stop for a moment to grab him. Carry him out of the bedroom and closing the door. Having to endure constant meowing behind the door. Drilling at each other before proceeding. How about the old hay? I don't bend like that. Question mark. Edit. Thanks for the silver and gold kind strangers. Stopping to see what the dog is freaking out about in the other room. Meanwhile dog. Barking to see what owners are freaking out about in other room. Having to awkwardly grab a cum rag without spilling cum everywhere. Don't call your girlfriend that. The sweat. Jokes and laughter. The surprising amount of air that somehow makes its way into the vagina and is subsequently forced out by pushing on the tummy. Also. Hey I'm gonna get some water real quick. You want some? With a hell yeah response. Stay hydrated kings and queens. A few years back I was ramping it up on my wife in the standard missionary position and I all of a sudden felt a sandpaper tongue tossing my salad. Such mixed emotions. My nasty dog now gets locked in the closet as a pre-SX routine. Last night I went to slap my girl on the ass while her legs were over my shoulders. What actually happened was I reached around and slapped my balls really hard. The woman having to take a drink because her mouth gets dry during a BJ. Headbutting or elbowing. Going to pick up throw whatever someone and a hand slipping dangerously. Why am I even scrolling through here? The waddle to the toilet before the cum drips out. Female P. O. V. You always see from the guy's point of view. Looking down as he's getting his cock sucked. But I've yet to see the female point of view. Looking up at the guy. With the cock hanging right there. I'm sure it exists somewhere. I just haven't seen it. Personally I'm glad I can't see my dopey ass mug when I'm getting into it. It's like when you're about to nut to a video when the camera rests on a fantastic shot and just as you feel the nut come in it just smash cuts to a close up of some dude with a tie haircut and uneven teeth panting and grunting with a look on his face like he can't tell what that smell is but he's pretty sure it should offend him and all of your hard work goes limp quicker than a fainting goat. Dut. What was I talking about? Falling asleep during. 
fell asleep eating my girlfriend out one time. The man turning down SX. Intimacy. I kept banging my head against the wall because of poor positioning but kept going anyways. So I'm thrusting from below and my head's going tump. Tump. Tump against the concrete wall with 0 s given. Pets being wires and or jumping on the bed to check out what's going on. The cat trying to stop it. Stopping oral to remove the pube from your tongue. How often women accidentally kick their partner while switching positions IA. The awkward moment of downtime between making out foreplay and sx. When condoms are grabbed and put on. It lasts forever. The disappointment. Watch the vid of Mia Khalifa and the fan who won contest to her. It's like a gigantic train wreck of cringe and disappointment from start to finish. The actual org SM faces that no one would want to see. Edit. Bro. I didn't know you're related this much. This is my first comment reaching this many likes. Thanks. Colon. Close bracket. Edit 2. So. You guys have informed me that the term for this is vinegar strokes. And all I have to say is that my favorite song by them is Rotilia. Dated a girl who. When climaxing. Would exclusively grab a fistful of my hair then bury my face into a pillow and hold it there while saying don't speak. I was cool with it at first until I realized she can only come when she doesn't see or hear me. The Osicum run to the toilet after you've finished. This evening my girlfriend's dog had a seizure while we were having sx. The punchline is he was on the bed with us and he, as he often does with seizures, peed himself. It sprayed right on my girlfriend's arm and our pillows. Currently doing laundry smh. Talking about your plans for tomorrow during the act. The pizza man gives you your pizza and then leaves so you eat pizza while I'm sturbating furiously and crying. Arguing over who sleeps on the wet spot afterwards. Just lay a towel down. Just sticking it right in. The moment where you both just decide to stop despite no one orgsming. Because you're too exhausted to move anymore. Edit. OMG I got a gold. This is the first time I've ever been gifted reddit gold silver at all. Thank you kind sir. Madam. Or other. Having to stop and move down the bed because we moved up and were banging our heads on the headboard. We were laughing. PSSY farts. Never seen that in PRN. I was at a swing party. A woman. Extremely beautiful and SI. Was surrounded by 6 men. I was watching the scene with my GF at the time. She was moaning about how great this was and let out a fart. My GF and I looked at each other. Did she just fart? My GF asked. Before I could answer the woman rips another. She was saying no. Oh, this fart. Feels so good fart. I want fart. To have you all me. Fart. One by one. The men moved away. When she realized people were leaving. She said. Why are you leaving? Gas is natural. My GF and I left before the last guy did. I can confidently say that I've never seen that in a PRNO. Ow oh, oh, wait. Leg cramps. Giggles. Farting. That sweaty stuck together sound. Intense euphoria on another freaking metaphysical plane with the right partner. Normal angles for intimacy instead of for camera angles. The moment you realize you left the toy downstairs and the both of you look at each other. Hoping the other one gets it. Then during the time it takes to go get it. You are maintaining an erection with no stimulation or visual help. So you keep the party going until the toy is back. But then it's low on batteries so you have to dig out 4 AAs in the drawer next to the bed. Are they new? Or are they old ones you changed out last time? Not wanting to cuddle after because your combined body heat could bake bread and the sweat would hold you tojiva like a bonding agent. How often the dick actually slips out of the vagina lol. I never see people stop mid stroke because they suddenly have to fart. I hate it. Don't want to fart mid sx. 
don't really want to stop SX. But the more you move the more likely that something will slip. Hell of a dilemma. Press your butt cheeks together and fart as loud as you can to assert dominance. The laughing. Joke making. Meme referencing. Hand wondering that's ticklish. Etc. Nobody ever has any casual conversations and it's upsettingly inaccurate. The cuddles and random talking after you're done while you catch your breath with the fan on and your legs open. Being need in the vagina. Anel is always so clean in PRN. The kid comes in because she couldn't sleep. Saying sorry. Queefing. The awkward feeling of condoms. We were both virgins. So with neither of us being experienced. There were multiple things that went wrong. It kept slipping out. The condoms were giving us problems. Angle issues. Etc. We stopped halfway through and finished each other off with our hands and mouths. Also tried 69 but she kept needing to stop to moan so I didn't really get much attention. Figured we would just take turns on each other so that we wouldn't be awkwardly propped over one another. Truth is. SX is awkward. But there's nothing wrong with being inexperienced. Oh. And also the smell. It's hot at first. But then after a while the stink is gross. Pubes that should have been trimmed a week ago. I'll do it tomorrow. The condom staying in when the dick gets pulled out. You burst into laughter mid-act and it's perfectly fine. Pepper spray. A female orgasm where the girl is just lay eyeing there with her legs shaking and the dude is just like wow. Want some water too? You're on my hair you're on my hair. An LSX. 1. You just don't ram it in without a lot of foreplay with the anus and a lot of lube. 2. There will always be fecal material on your penis. 3. Whoever's on the receiving end will have to sometime in the next hour. The girl having a panic attack afterwards because she doesn't think she's ready for a relationship. The muffled screams for help. Having your arm or hand cramp while you're fingering a girl. Asking for SX and getting a no. The possibility of blood or because you know. Happens for you kinky bastards. Also. SX isn't always easy and sometimes you come faster or slower depending on your body. An actual female or guess M. The pooping on my chest at the end. You have to find the right search terms. Me. The smell. Do you smell it? That smell. Kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. The pause for snacks during a orgy or gangbang. Stepsister didn't suck me off when I was naked in her room. Phone calling. Grandma died. SX continues. I have said it before. I will say it again. Cuddling and aftercare. Aftercare is super important after SX. Especially particularly rough SX. And so is cuddling. Cuddling after is my kryptonite. Female or guess M. I've never seen a woman break a nail in a man's back in a PRN. I broke a nail in my husband's back and had to remove it after we were done. I felt terrible. He thought it was awesome. A constant stream of asking and making sure everybody is okay. I have never seen that. But it's better like that. I don't know I'm 13. That's also something you don't see in regular PRN. How would any of us know? We are editors. The cute cuddling and pure happiness of being with a person you love at the end. He and my boyfriend get so happy after. I'm usually laying on top of him and I'll look into his eyes and we will just start laughing or smiling a lot. Forried kisses. Maybe some hikeys, but that usually turns into more SX even if we though we were finished before. I was breathing hard and accidentally gave my boyfriend a raspberry on his arm. It was loud like a fart. We laughed so hard and just kept going. PSSY farts? 
spitting instead of swallowing. Far fewer position changes and shorter duration in general. The need to stop. Someone might have trauma and break down or someone might just decide midway they no longer want to. And that's okay. And it should be respected. The crying. You're watching the wrong stuff. When you have to stop to remove her noovering from around your penis before circulation is cut off. Her vagina likes to play ring toss in the dark. During the act. And now your penis is hula hooping with a newly acquired cock ring. Edit. Then you have to waste time to figure out what to do with the damn thing after you get it off. Do you give it back and say hey your noovering came out and then watch you put it back in like magic? Do you toss it like a frisbee on the nightstand? Do you keep on pumping because now you're both safe using birth control? Or do you kindly say your birth control came out? Give it back to her. Get off of her. Move to the end of her bed to give her privacy and comfort so she can choose herself what to do with it and then continue on. Regina fart with loads of cum bubbles. The awkward post is silence. That is when you're supposed to fart. Me and my boyfriend never have this actually. We usually get really happy and lovey after and just cuddle and say oh I love you 500 times. It's very wholesome. Weird it hasn't been answered yet. But CRRMPS. Having your tip stuck in her braces. Hold the up. That sounds painful f. The man spends 10 minutes fumbling to get it in. Having sex with the wife and the lamp falls off the headboard. Hitting her in the head. The puddle that's left over. When in the moment of cuming, as a male, you wanna do your final doggy style push but miss the hole and just hang shoot under her. It doesn't taste good. You're dining at the wrong restaurants. Just got her at salt and pepper. Hips popping because you're just not as flexible when you were 21. Honestly? Despite all the embarrassing and the fact it never looks like PRN. It's the intensity of a good that defines real life from PRN. Sometimes you're so lost in your partner that it won't even matter if one of you doesn't finish. Because more often than not that level of horniness will lead to round 2 anyway where your probs come faster and harder than expected. You bump teeth in the dark sometimes. My erection constantly being an inconsistent bastard. Actual sx noises. Like meaningful moans. Not aaaa you are hitting my cervix you eyeing beast. Shove that cheese log down my hubby hole and ride me like buzzfeed rides a burning ship. Rat me like a dog and gut my carp pssy with you knife dick and pump me full of that baby goo. Oh 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 oh. You know you want it baby. You know you want this glistening ass and poppin pssy. I want all your cummies daddy. Give me cummies. Here. Let me lick my juices off your dick like I'm a 3 year old at Chuck E. Cheese. Jamming on a pizza. MMMMM taste of my bag. So good. I want more. Come in me more. I want to choke on your cock like a starving man on a steak. Ram me baby. I want you to breed me like a poor brood mother. Me till it chafes. Beat my ass with a tiger's claw and pull my hair like it's gay BDSM rodeo. Or oh yeah no. Whatever else PRN stars say. Comma ride me like Buzzfeed rides a burning ship. I want to watch whatever PRN you're watching. Let me go get some lube and a toy. Rummages in closet while butt naked for 5 minutes in awkward silence while trying to find the supplies. The payment. When you both had a long day or came back from partying in a club and go straight to the SX. I. E too horny to go and clean up. There's the lick. When you go down on said person the first stroke is the one that cleans it and that's just a sour apple we all bite through. Giving my girlfriend a regional org SM is dick torture. It literally takes a full hour of pound town. She said it herself. Jokingly said you don't have a condom guess we have to do an L and the girl says sure. Crab walk to the bathroom to avoid aftermath spillage. Only applies if going raw. Lots of farting at the same time as org SM. 
I can't help it when all my muscles go crazy with the pleasure. Happens. At least not literally. When she's riding and the ass slaps down so hard that you let out a giant forced fart. Missionary with a hairy dude who's way bigger than you can easily make you feel like you're getting suffocated by a randy wookie. Telling jokes and laughing just to hear a moan through the laughter amd talking about casual things during sx. I don't know. I'm 24 and not married. Imagine waiting until marriage to have sx. This comment was made by the sinful gang. Wait right here. I gotta go pee first. Temporarily losing an erection moving between positions or